boat and put in the pond instead? Pond's for old ladies. I know it's for the old ladies, but just do it. While the shark was the source of fear in the movie, the heroic cast members played a crucial role in the success of the film. Unfortunately, several original cast members from the movie have passed away, leaving behind remarkable legacies. Let's delve into their incredible lives and careers for inspiration. Chief, I want you to get up on the bridge, just take a forward steady. I've never seen a boat in my life. Just Born in Orange, New Jersey, on November 10, 1932, Roy Scheider emerged as a versatile actor who excelled in both independent films and major blockbusters. He is best known for his remarkable portrayal of Chief Martin Brody in the film, where he skillfully navigated the complexities of fear and leadership. This role not only showcased his talent, but also made him a household name. His ability to convey deep emotions resonated with audiences, making his character relatable and compelling. Throughout his career, Skyder participated in several significant films, including The French Connection, where he played a tough detective, and All That Jazz, a semi-autobiographical musical that highlighted his range as a performer. His role in Marathon Man further cemented his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Unfortunately, he passed away on February 10, 2008, due to complications from melanoma, but his contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Skyder's dynamic performances and memorable characters remain a significant part of film history. Robert Shaw, born on August 9, 1927, in Lancashire, England, was a distinguished British actor and author celebrated for his commanding screen presence and versatility. In the iconic 1975 movie Jaws, Shaw portrayed Quint, delivering a memorable monologue that remains a defining moment of this classic. Apart from his role in Jaws, Shaw's impressive career included notable performances in From Russia with Love and A Man for All Seasons. Unfortunately, Shaw passed away on August 28, 1978, of filming Avalanche Express. His legacy as a talented actor endures through his brilliant contributions to cinema. Murray Hamilton, born on March 24, 1923, in Washington, North Carolina, made a significant mark in film history with his portrayal of Mayor Larry Vaughn in the movie. His character's determination to keep the beaches open, despite the ongoing shark attacks, created a compelling conflict essential to the story. This refusal illustrated the tension between economic interests and public safety, making his role pivotal in the narrative. The film showcased Hamilton's talent, allowing him to deliver lines that resonated with audiences, reflecting the struggles of small-town leadership during a crisis. He reprised this memorable role in the sequel, further cementing his place in the franchise. Beyond this classic, Hamilton's career included notable performances in films like The Graduate and The Amityville Horror, where he displayed a range of acting skills. Sadly, he passed away from lung cancer on September 1, 1986, leaving behind a legacy marked by strong performances that continue to be remembered. Joseph Mascolo born on March 13, 1929, in West Hartford, Connecticut, had a diverse acting career spanning film, television, and stage. Best known for his role as Stefano Damara in Days of Our Lives, he also appeared in Jaws 2 as Len Peterson. Mascala's contributions to entertainment extended to roles in All in the Family and Hill Street Blues. He passed away on December 8, 2016, due to Alzheimer's disease. Colin Wilcox was born on February 4, 1935, in Cincinnati, Ohio, known for her role in Jaws 2 and her performance as Mayella Yulin to Kill a Mockingbird. Wilcox was a versatile actress who worked extensively in film, television, and theater. She died on October 14, 2009, after a long career that showcased her diverse talents and commitment to the acting profession. In the movie Jaws, a giant man-eating shark terrorizes a small resort town leading to a thrilling battle between the residents and the deadly predator. The film, directed by Steven Spielberg, became a blockbuster hit and a classic in the world of cinema. With its iconic score and suspenseful storytelling, Jaws remains a timeless favorite among audiences worldwide, setting the standard for many future summer blockbuster movies.
Mark Gilpin, born on September 26, 1966, in Austin, Texas, played Sean Brody in Jaws 2 during his brief child acting career. Although he appeared in various films and TV shows like Chips and Silver Spoons, he is best remembered for his role in Jaws 2. Gilpin passed away from aggressive brain cancer on July 29, 2023. Jaws made a big splash when it came out in 1975. People were scared of going into the water because of this classic. It changed how movies were made and marketed. Many viewers loved the suspense and thrills it brought. Even after many years, Jaws is remembered for its impact. The film led to sequels and made sharks a popular subject in movies. It also inspired merchandise like toys and clothes. Its influence can still be seen in popular culture today. Jaws left a lasting legacy that continues to captivate audiences. The casting process for the 1975 movie Jaws was meticulous. Roy Scheider, known for his role in The French Connection, landed the lead as Chief Martin Brody. Robert Shaw impressed as the shark hunter Quint, bringing depth to the character. Richard Dreyfuss, chosen for the role of marine biologist Matt Hooper, added a perfect blend of intellect and personality. During auditions, Spielberg sought authenticity, leading to the selection of local Martha's Vineyard residents for supporting roles. The chemistry between the actors was crucial, especially seen in the intense interactions between Brody, Quint, and Hooper. A pivotal moment in casting was when Robert Shaw improvised the iconic Indianapolis speech, showcasing his talent and ultimately securing his role. The trio's dynamic on and off-screen chemistry elevated the movie to legendary status. Focusing on the directorial vision of Jaws, Steven Spielberg brought a unique blend of suspense and realism to the film. Inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's ability to build tension, Spielberg used techniques that kept audiences on the edge of their seats. He cleverly limited the visibility of the shark, using the famous mechanical malfunction to create a sense of dread through suggestion, rather than direct sight. This choice to reveal the threat slowly heightened the fear factor, making every splash and shadow significant. Collaborating closely with the cast, Spielberg encouraged improvisation, allowing actors like Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfuss to add their own flair to the characters. The chemistry among the three leads was crucial. Their dynamic brought authenticity to their struggle against the shark. Cinematographer Bill Butler played a key role in capturing the ocean's vastness, emphasizing the isolation felt by the characters. The score by John Williams, with its iconic two-note motif, became a character in itself, amplifying the tension. This combination of collaborative creativity and innovative techniques brought Jaws to life, transforming it into a landmark in cinematic history. During the production of the 1975 movie Jaws, the set design was crucial in creating the terrifying atmosphere of the film. The mechanical shark, named Bruce, was a major challenge as it frequently malfunctioned in the water. The crew had to get creative with how they shot scenes involving the shark, leading to the iconic use of suspense building techniques like showing the shark's point of view rather than the actual creature. Locations on Martha's Vineyard provided a picturesque backdrop for the fictional Amity Island. Logistically, filming at sea presented challenges with tides, weather, and continuity. Director Steven Spielberg utilized innovative filming techniques such as the underwater Zodiac camera platform to capture dynamic shots. These technological advancements helped elevate the film's suspense and intensity, making Jaws a classic in cinema history. The musical score in the 1975 movie Jaws was crucial in creating tension and suspense Composers John Williams used a simple yet iconic two-note motif to represent the shark, which became synonymous with fear and impending danger. The repetitive, escalating tempo of the score mirrored the increasing threat throughout the film, keeping audiences on edge. The soundtrack effectively enhanced the narrative by intensifying the emotions of fear, uncertainty, and adrenaline, making Jaws a classic example of how music can elevate a movie's impact. Composers and musicians involved in the creation of the score and soundtrack understood the need to synchronize music with the storyline to heighten the audience's experience effectively. You fisherman and Mrs. Kent. Martin, would you please? 
One of the most iconic scenes in the 1975 movie Jaws is when Chief Brody first sees the shark, known for the famous line, you're gonna need a bigger boat. This scene showcases excellent direction by Steven Spielberg, building tension through the use of music and camera angles. Actor Roy Scheider's performance as Chief Brody captures the fear and shock of encountering the massive shark. The cinematography, with the shark slowly emerging from the water, adds to the suspense and impact on the audience. Filmmakers and actors have praised this scene for its realism and ability to terrify viewers, making it a standout moment in cinematic history. Another memorable scene is the Indianapolis speech, where Quint recounts the chilling story of the USS Indianapolis. Director Spielberg masterfully creates a haunting atmosphere as Robert Shaw delivers a captivating performance. The use of close-up shots intensifies the emotional weight of the monologue, leaving a profound impact on the audience. Filmmakers have commended this scene for its raw emotion and storytelling, highlighting its significance in the film. The final iconic scene to mention is the intense shark hunt aboard the Orca. The direction in this sequence is exceptional, with Spielberg expertly building suspense as the three men battle the relentless shark. The performances by Skyder, Shaw, and Richard Dreyfuss as Quint, Brody, and Hooper respectively are gripping and authentic, drawing viewers into the heart-pounding action. The cinematography captures the vastness of the ocean and the danger lurking beneath the surface, heightening the tension for the audience. These iconic scenes from Jaws demonstrate the talent of the filmmakers and actors involved, leaving a lasting impression on viewers with their exceptional direction, performances, cinematography, and ability to evoke strong emotional responses. The 1975 movie Jaws had a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences by tapping into primal fears of the unknown lurking beneath the surface. The film's intense portrayal of the great white shark sparked a widespread fear of swimming in the ocean and even led to a rise in shark hunting. Jaws also influenced pop culture by popularizing the summer blockbuster format, setting a new standard for action and suspense in film. Furthermore, the movie sparked discussions on environmental conservation and the delicate balance between humans and nature. Overall, Jaws left a lasting impression on cinema and society, shaping how we view sharks and the ocean to this day. I want to get a picture for the paper. Now, can we just have the guy? Ben Gardner, get this. Upon its release in 1975, Jaws received remarkable critical acclaim, with many reviewers praising its suspenseful direction by Steven Spielberg. Renowned critic Roger Ebert lauded it as a masterclass in building tension, emphasizing how the film transformed a simple summer setting into a terrifying experience. Audiences reacted with a mix of thrill and fear, leading to unprecedented box office success, making Jaws the first summer blockbuster. The sense of fear instilled by the film prompted beachgoers to think twice before entering the water, showcasing its cultural impact. In terms of accolades, Jaws was nominated for several Academy Awards, winning three Best Original Score, Best Film Editing, and Best Sound. These awards underscored the film's technical and artistic achievements, highlighting the contributions of composer John Williams, whose iconic score became synonymous with suspense. The recognition solidified Spielberg's reputation as a leading filmmaker and launched a franchise that would influence the adventure and horror genres for decades. The success of Jaws marked a transformative moment in cinema, ensuring that all involved would leave a lasting legacy in film history. Crap, you got that. One case of apricot brandy. You buy the lunch. Two cases. During the filming of Jaws in 1975, the mechanical shark, named Bruce, often malfunctioned, causing delays in production. This led the director, Steven Spielberg, to shoot many scenes without showing the shark until later in the movie, building suspense. Additionally, there were difficulties on the set due to shooting in open water, with crew members battling seasickness and unpredictable weather. Actor Robert Shaw, who played Quint, reportedly improvised much of his acclaimed monologue about the USS Indianapolis, adding a raw authenticity to the scene. Despite these challenges, Jaws went on to become a classic summer blockbuster, changing the landscape of cinema forever. Firstly, Jaws is seen as a pivotal film in the history of cinema. Its impact on future movies was profound, shaping the way many filmmakers approach storytelling and suspense. The success of Jaws led to the rise of the summer blockbuster, 
It also influenced how movies were marketed and the use of music to build tension in films. In terms of its legacy, Jaws remains a classic that continues to be celebrated for its craftsmanship and storytelling. Many subsequent works have drawn inspiration from Jaws, whether in terms of creating tension, developing characters, or crafting memorable moments. Its influence can be felt in a wide range of genres beyond just horror or suspense. Overall, Jaws has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and continues to shape how films are made today. If you've ever watched Jaws, share your personal stories or thoughts. Did the film leave a mark on you? How did it shape your view of movies? Engage by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic adventures. Your turn!